UFC-style fight clocks, Steam achievements, entire Pokemon layouts, a whole world of untapped potential for OBS Studio exists, and not enough people know about it. Today we're talking about six OBS Studio scripts that give you on-screen widgets or entire stream layouts even for streaming. I'm Eples Vox, the stream professor, and OBS Studio version 21 introduced Lua and Python script compatibility, but not many people really knew what to do with it for a while. So let's crack open this function and reveal the possibilities. This is video as part of a three-part mini-series with more to come, so check the playlist link in the video description and get subscribed so that you don't miss future releases. This episode is for neat little things that you can show on your stream to help build out specific scenes or ideas. These aren't going to be for everyone, but someone might find little uses for them in their individual scenes regardless. Starting out with mouse click counter. This does, as the name implies, using auto hotkey as well, it allows you to set up an auto updating text file that indicates how many times you have clicked your mouse on stream, during a stream. Useful for tracking something, maybe RTS games or showing how more how efficient a workflow path is, I'm sure someone finds a use for it. Fight Clock lets you set up a UFC style timer card on screen where you can pose two different teams or players, start and pause the clock, add or remove time from the clock, change rounds, and so on. Pretty neat if you're doing these kinds of sports and UFC broadcasts and things like that. I know a lot of local broadcast people kind of watch these videos, and so hopefully that gives you some ideas. The same user also made a script that sets up a podcast template. This is pretty cool. It has a split view for different hosts, different backgrounds, a few different scenes, and so on. It's really handy, and they just make a basic like little stream layout button where you just click create the scenes, and it does it all for you, which is really nice. Steam Achievements lets you generate text sources to display your Steam Achievement progress, such as game completion overall, which games you've completed the most of and gotten all of the achievements in, and so on. Useful for those of you who do a lot of Let's Plays and want to track your progress on stream or you're like doing completionist runs and things like that. So pretty neat that someone has made it. Hopefully someone will modify it so that you can do more like focused on the game you're playing in the moment sources as well, but it could be useful for additional stats on your be right back screens or something like that for your viewers to keep track of. Streamlink source allows you to pipe Streamlink video. That is a command line utility designed to load video streams from sites like Twitch, YouTube, Dailymotion, and so on to VLC, but you can add it as a direct media source in OBS. This might seem convoluted, but if you're wanting to do a co-stream or feature someone else's gameplay alongside yours or something, this would be a lower latency and less bulky way to go about it than just using like a browser source for the Twitch page or something. This might be particularly useful for those running streams on VPS servers or something like that where super lightweight resource usage is needed. OBS Stats on Stream is pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to display everything from OBS's stats doc as a customizable text source. So that's missed or skipped frames due to rendering or encoding lag, dropped frames, network congestion, average frame time, memory usage, bit, bit rate, frames per second, etc. This is useful for fellow techies who are doing streams, showing off new hardware, benchmarking, and so on. I'm probably going to be using this for some of my tests moving forward because it makes it easier whenever I'm tracking all of the clips I've recorded for benchmarking and things like that and keep track of what's actually being shown on screen for once. More scripts are being covered, more in depth, and more often over on my own streaming site. My videos are higher quality there, ad free, and often extended from the YouTube versions. The site's called Nebula, and we've partnered with CuriosityStream. Nebula features YouTube's top education creators, such as Legal Eagle, Low Spec Gamer, Thomas Frank. We've worked out a deal where if you sign up with CuriosityStream, linked in the description, you not only get access to their site and their library of thousands of documentary and educational content, but you get access to Nebula as well for free for the entire duration of your subscription to CuriosityStream. Best of all, CuriosityStream's running a 26% off promotion, making their yearly plan, this isn't monthly, this is yearly, less than $15 per year if you use the link in the description, which is wild for both sites, supporting me and watching tons of other educational YouTubers and tons of documentaries over on CuriosityStream. While you're there, check out Becoming Martian, an exploration into the changes that we will have to make as humans in order to survive on Mars should we need to live there in the future. Head on over to CuriosityStream.com slash for the best deal in streaming and get both sites. It, it's wild, just do it. 
There's a lot more to cover in terms of these scripts. This was originally one video that had to be split up into three because there's just so much awesome stuff to be done with scripts. Join us on Discord to chat about these more at discord.gg slash evilsvox. Consider checking out this other video reviewing Microsoft's modern webcam and their other streaming and video conferencing tools as well. And remember, be kind, rewind.